to our Tzainu, where we tour and travel through our homeland, through Israel. Join us on this week's amazing adventure. So it got cold outside and it's winter time. We're outside here near Har Charmon, which is right here, which is a ski resort in the north in Eretz Yisrael. We get snow and cold, and you know, winter time is usually the be begins during the month of Kislev, and Kislev has a really special holiday called Chanukah. Let's check out some of the stuff about Chanukah in Israel. Here at the entrance of the beautiful Beit HaMikdash, many, many years ago, when the Beit HaMikdash actually stood, during the time of the Hanukkah story, the Yuvanim placed a very large idol here and around all of Yerushalayim and much of Eretz Yisrael. The Hashmonai family couldn't deal with seeing this terrible situation, and they chose to move to an area called Modi'in, which had not been taken over and did not have idols, did not have a Vodazara in it. Let's go check out Modi'in. These structural ruins that were found here in Modi'in are way back from the time of the Second Beit HaMikdash, and may very well be the structures of some of the homes that the Hashemunai Kohanim lived in during the time of the Second Beit HaMikdash when they were getting away from the Yuvanim. This area has been recently excavated, and they've dug and found all sorts of cool stuff. It is a bit chilly here because it's Kislev, and it's, and it's cold during Kislev, but this area here is the area of Modi'in where the Hashemunai lived. Hi guys, so today we're here in Modi'in. Modi'in is a very new city right in the middle of Eretz Israel. The city is so new, only 21 years old. All the buildings, the mall, even parks are all brand new. Talking of parks, we are here at Park Anabe, a park in the middle of Modi'in with a very nice lake. People come from all over town and all over Israel to sit here, relax, look at the water, maybe swim a little bit. It's very, very fun. Modi'in is the closest city to my house. So all my life I spend lots of time here. This is Masuot Nerya, a religious school in Modi'in. Here I was a Bnei Akiva counselor for two years. I walked from Nofaeron to Modi'in for an hour and I had a lot of kids that I was a counselor of. Many of you guys told us that you have family that lives in Modi'in. Yeah, that's because a lot of families who live here in Modi'in made Aliyah. Yeah, and many of the kids, like you see here, are learning in the same class. Israeli kids, Americans, from Europe, from Australia, all over the world. And in Modi'in, there's a big Urpan. People who made Aliyah come there to learn Hebrew and to learn about Israeli things. Eventually, the Hashmonaim led a battle against the Yavanim and reconquer the Amikdash, finding a small container of oil and being able to light a menorah. Instead of lighting the menorah in the Kodesh behind me, they lit a menorah out here in the open where everybody could see it and show how proud and excited we are that we were able to serve Hashem again in an appropriate manner. With this little small container of oil that they found, the menorah continued burning for eight days until new pure oil arrived from the nearby orchards. I love the device. It's a lot. 